Hi, it's Charity, and welcome back to the Amanda Play Sims or APS Legacy Challenge. Now, Forrest is just swinging on the swings with his daughter, and we're just exploring Sulani's culture today. I know I don't usually do these events, but I got a list of them so I know when they're happening. And we're just going to have a little bit of fun on the beach right now. We also had the Festival of Youth today, Poetry Evening at Thrifty, and the Starlight Accolades. So I'm only going to take the family members that are probably going to be old enough for the events. So the Starlight Accolades will be mostly teenagers and adults. Poetry Evening also should be teenagers and adults, but Festival of Youth and Family Fun Day can include everyone. And the Family Fun Day is really just the swing set that appears, and the toddlers can play in the open water, which is kind of fun, because you almost never get to see their swimsuits. And it looks like they've made a new friend. This is Finn Gilroy. I really should have at least the children introduce themselves to some of the other kids that they see while they're out on these outings, because otherwise it seems like the kids never make any friends. Okay, now that we're done playing, oh yeah, in the Util Bot contest. Well, I don't know if we should do the university events with Forrest. He is on his last semester of university, though. Let's just go to the Festival of Youth. Oh, this is a lot of fun. It's raining. Okay, I'm going to grab the collectibles, and then we'll probably just leave. All right, we're making some progress on this toddler build-a-blocks. But we're just waiting for 3 p.m. to roll around so that the thrifty poetry evening starts. And it looks like it actually has cleared up. It's sunny, but there's a chance of thunderstorms. So let's have Claire come out here and meet some children now that it's sunny. So we've met Byron Luo, Kiana Ernst, and Antoine Caliente. Trying to get this... Okay, it actually finished. Oh, it's different. I've built this before. I think it was with the red one and it was a block house. I don't know if that depends on the swatch that you use or if it's just random, but I've never seen a rocket ship. That's kind of interesting. Okay, just dropping the toddlers off at home. We will actually take Claire with us because she hasn't done her homework. Okay, Claire Ann is going to do her homework. Forrest is going to try an experimental poetry reading. And then of course, Claire is going to go find collectibles. I'm not sure what time it's over, but it definitely was started by the time I got here. And it looks like everyone's standing outside and no one's coming in to hear my poetry reading. That's rude. Well, Forrest is just going to help Claire Ann with her homework. All right, now people are starting to go inside. Oh, Sydney and I just welcomed home our new baby. Are you, are you able to stop by? Ava says, okay. Okay, so it looks like the quadruplets are now teenagers. Ava got remarried to Sydney Spears. I forget who she was married to previously. I'm pretty sure she didn't have an alien spouse. Oh, I don't remember. It's been a while. All right. Where is... Oh, it's an infant. Did she adopt a baby? It said she had a baby. And the baby is already an infant. That is strange. Okay. Oh, no, she had two. There's two of them. Jordan and Mac. And then they moved out of that big house that I had them a part of for the Let's Play that they were in. So, hmm, we might need to give her some help in this house. All right. I have slightly improved the place. I added another table and a few more chairs and some high chairs. We also have a couple of cribs over here. And then we basically built an upstairs because we have four teenagers. So they have four decent bedrooms. They're not that great because most of them don't have very many windows except for this last one over here. And the last one is really skinny. So we do have some workspace out in the front for the two people who didn't get lucky enough to have desks in their rooms. 
it's not too bad. It's workable. We also added an extra bathroom upstairs with a shower for the teens. And then hopefully by the time the infants get up to children, the teens will be moved out. So maybe we'll have Forrest and everyone meet everyone else. And then we'll be friends. It's actually kind of annoying with the infants. If you're an adult, you have to ask to be introduced. But if you're a child or a toddler, you can just meet them. And sometimes that works better than others. Well, the kids know each other. But it looks like Forrest is not going to get to meet the children that he came over to meet. And it's already 9 p.m. Why are you going upstairs? Oh, I guess everyone is going to talk to the computer or play on a computer. Oh, the infants are going to sleep. That's why I can't get myself introduced to them. No, Sydney, don't go back upstairs. Okay, we gotta go outside. Why does this have to be done outside? And they take their shoes off and put their shoes back on, and then it doesn't work because the kids are in here. Alright, that's it. Forget it. I can't get introduced to the infants. Alright, we're here at the Starlight Accolades with just Claire because Forrest was tired and didn't think he could make it. So let's just check out the club and see if we can find a bouncer or a celebrity well i don't see a bouncer coming so maybe thorn will let us inside you have to catch them before they go in and no thorn does not want to be our friend what about megumi no is there a bouncer over here yet no of course not one of these days we'll make friends with a celebrity and actually be able to go inside and the award ceremony is over, but maybe we can catch a few celebrities on the way out. It looks like no. What is this liberate when I click on a plant? I never noticed that before. I've not really tried clicking on stuff when she's possessed. Sometimes there's like a view or a stare, but that's autonomous. You can't make her do it. You can do go here, but that's about it. Oh, that's basically, um, liberate the plant means may turn it into a harvestable so you can unplant it. I was about to say, I thought it just killed the plant, but no, it, I have a plant sim plant in my inventory now. You cannot liberate a wild plant, though. I guess that only works with plants that are on your lot or on a lot. Yeah, see, she can talk to plants, but I can't make her do it. Okay, it's Monday, and today we have our class from 9.30 to 11, and then 11.30 to 12.30, and then the Brainiac study session overlaps with the Thrifty Fashion Show at 3 p.m. Then Sulani has a town barbecue, and then there's a Bot Savant's Bar Night. So we can decide to go to a couple of those, maybe all of them, if we want to. Hey, who said you could buy a coffee? Why is she always drinking coffee? She's not a coffee fanatic. And she drinks it even when she's not tired. All right. Well, Forrest is back, and this is the last day of his class, so he should be graduating. All right, we still have until 3 p.m. when the next event starts. So I got a mod called Bus Upon a Time, which allows you to travel to the hidden lots. And we're taking Clarion to the science lab. Because, to be honest, you can come here as a tourist. I don't, well, no one spawned in yet. But you actually can have tourists show up on this lot if you're working here. But there's no way for you to be a tourist. So it did cost me two simoleons to get here. But I did buy a bus pass, which was, I don't remember, 50 simoleons or 100 simoleons or something like that. I think it was 50. It costs to buy the pass and then two simoleons every time you go. So there's these collectibles over here that will show up more often than in other worlds. So we're just going to come and harvest the collectibles until 3 p.m.
Now that we're done gathering some collectibles and we have some extra cash, Claire decides to go to Thrifty for the fashion show. And I know the Brainiac study session is going on at the university, but Forrest is technically done with university. I don't think he can advance in the Brainiacs anymore. And we really didn't get above the first level, but that's fine. So we're going to create a look here. All right, I think this is a nice new look for Claire. And it's a boho outfit. It might need a hat because it's more of a summer outfit and I wanted this to be an additional hot weather look. And I'm not sure if any of these hats will do. There we go, a hat and some sunglasses. That's pretty cute. And so we have boho summer and this is going to cost 305 simoleons. And that's Claire's reward for gathering some collectibles. All right, and now she's wearing her new outfit, but we are not going to sell this on Trendy. So what I might do is just gift it to someone. It's a boho outfit. And let's see if I know any of these people. Fashion show contestants. Oh, it, there is a fashion show going on. Let's see if she likes my gift since I can't sell it anyway. It's kind of funny because I'm actually wearing it. Okay, I didn't see a reaction, but she's tense, so I don't know. Oh, they're watching the fashion routine. Can you do a fashion routine? No, I don't see an option. Okay, there's show off fashion look. You have to click on yourself, though. Okay, we're both booing each other. I think that's enough of this for now. Okay, there's supposed to be a barbecue over here. And it looks like they have a copper bowl. Okay, so they're going to actually make something with this barbecue pit. And we can all hang out and then have something to eat together. The barbecue even takes longer than an hour to prepare. So I guess that means we'll be here for at least an hour. Oh, Forrest got his final grades and he had straight A pluses. So anyway, we have a degree in economics. That's going to allow us to be an investor. I was about to say the only other event that we have tonight is 8 p.m. to midnight. There's a bot savants bar night, but we're not part of the bot savants and we're graduated. Okay, I have to quit my job first because apparently I'm already in the business career. All right, we will be an investor for 224 simoleons an hour. And we got a signing bonus of 1,655 simoleons, which puts us at level eight of the investor branch. Now, the only question is, can I find Forrest some coffee? No, there doesn't appear to be any coffee around. Oh, well, just kava. All right, after failing to introduce ourselves to Dirk Dreamer, I guess we're going to head home because it's way past the kids' bedtime. Okay, since Amal is the most tired, he's going to bed first. And the problem with Amal is that he doesn't like bedtime. So he keeps getting up in the middle of the night and not having as much sleep as Amelia. Okay, now it's Amelia's turn. Amal, why are you up? Avoid bedtime and ask for something. <laughs> this is what I mean. It's kind of cute, but it's also a little bit annoying. We are going to put you back in bed, Amal. Okay, go to sleep, Amal, please. And stay in bed. Oh, it's Tuesday and we have to take a vacation day. First, we'll try to convince our boss to give us a bonus. And then we need to take a vacation day. And the reason why is because today is graduation. I don't want Forrest to miss his graduation ceremony for work. It's also Geek Con. We won't normally take a day off in order to go to one of the festivals or one of the fairs like GeekCon, but we definitely need to take the day off for graduation ceremonies, maybe birthday parties if we can't find any good time to do it, but I'm pretty much going to prioritize work. I don't think family members get to go to graduation for university. They do for high school, but that doesn't count for university. 
I'll just have Claire Ann go to school. Oh, I took a vacation day so I could go to graduation, and now I don't think it's giving me the graduation ceremony. Do I have to travel there myself? Okay, it, it actually gave it to me. It just took a little while. It said 10 a.m., and it's 10.07. The graduation ceremony is about to happen. Would you like to attend the ceremony? And I say yes because I want the stupid picture. And Forrest looks so nice in his cap and gown, although it is cloudy, which means a subpar screenshot. And why do they have random shoes with their graduation outfit? I mean, I get that the game doesn't... Oh, I hate this area for that reason. Okay. I get the game doesn't know what shoes to put, but it should just pick some base game shoes or some university shoes. It shouldn't randomly get shoes. And I don't even think those are male shoes. Pretty sure those are female shoes. That's just wrong. And now we get to watch him enthuse about graduation with all of his classmates. And then they go into the building around 11 and they come back out around noon. Well, that's a halfway decent angled shot. I have a really hard time getting good screenshots as they come out because it seems like these buildings always get in the way or the other students are not lined up because this building, it, you can't get a shot from right here. Basically, it will not drop you until you're past where you want to be. It's so annoying. I hate how it does that because these buildings are, you can't go inside them. Oh, actually, yeah, you can go inside that one. Okay, well, anyway, still, the point is that I don't need to be up there. I need to be down on the ground. Well, the only choice also is to get the others in the shot because <laughs> Forrest can't be in the shot by himself. But it's okay. All right, Forrest, you've graduated. Now tomorrow you can go to work. All right, let's go to GeekCon. And we're bringing Claire along, but Claire Ann is still at school until 3 p.m. Well, Forrest is going to try his luck at the Ultimate Gaming Contest. And Forrest got a 3. Oh, no, 30. Okay, that's the same score you got last time, Forrest. Try again. It's hard to do it, though, because these people keep getting in my way. Okay, and Claire got 30. Do you always get 30? I don't think I've seen them get anything else. And don't tell me that at the video gaming and programming con, they don't even have any coffee. The only food stall is this hot dog stand. And they just have hot dogs and hamburgers. And then this is just swag, which I already have. And I have the festival t-shirts. Although Claire might want them because they're actually really cool because they're purple and she likes purple. Oh, she already has access to it because she's in Forrest's household. Okay, um, you don't have to buy it for multiple Sims in your household, I guess. Well, I guess we'll just have to brew some coffee at home. And of course, the coffee banker breaks. Well, it's 5 p.m. and luckily the Flowers and Music Festival is still going on. This started at 1. I wonder what time it's over. Okay, so basically Jade has a crush on us. Should we say we'll go on a date? I mean, sure. We'll have a fling and then we'll just wait for her to ask us out. All right, it's 8 p.m. It's about the toddler's bedtime, so we're going to go home now. It looks like the festival is over anyway. Okay, we helped Claire Ann do her homework, and then we're going to ask Jade out on a date. Okay, maybe we'll order some drinks at the bar, even though we're not sitting together. Oh, we have to pick a drink. I hate that. All right, sure. I guess we'll just do a, a beer. Okay, why do you two keep sitting farther away from each other? Go sit next to her. Okay, this is the problem with coming to a bar on a date, however. Everyone gets into your conversation. And it's really hard to be flirty when that happens. Well, we can do the friendly stuff first. Okay, I guess we can be a little bit flirty until it gets awkward. 
and then we'll try to drop the conversation. Another issue with this is that you have to wait for everyone to have their turn talking, which is kind of annoying because that's just not how it works in a big group. You don't focus on one person at a time. You all split off on into side conversations. I think the number of sims in a conversation should be limited. Okay, this is just annoying now. Now, the really annoying part is if I go sit outside, basically someone will start coming out here to talk to us, or she'll drag the entire group with her. Oh, and now she's getting tired. And we're having our first kiss. But we have to make this date quick, because unfortunately we have not finished our work assignment. Okay, it was a good date. Bye. We have to go now. Okay, we have work in six hours. That's not good. I think since I was off the lot when 1 a.m. hit, that Claire did not turn into a zombie. So, or get possessed, whatever you want to call it. But basically, she's not turning right now. I did not realize that you had to research stocks twice. So, basically, Forrest has not finished his work assignment yet, and it's only an hour and a half before work. All right, today is Wednesday, and it is the twins' birthday. So we'll have a birthday party after Forrest gets back from work. And I don't think we have anything. Okay, we have a meet a celebrity, but that's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So maybe we'll do that with just Claire, since she's the only one that's going to be home. And then Claire Ann will be at school. And then there's also supposed to be something in Sulani on Wednesday, which is the potluck at 6 p.m. So maybe we can have a birthday at the potluck. All right, Claire Ann and Forrest are off to work and school. And okay, the stock market has gone on a recent tear. And speculative trading is running rampant amongst forest fellow investors. It's tempting to follow the trends. After all, a rising tide lifts all boats, right? Still, Forrest has a nagging feeling that his bubble will burst and the precipitous drop lies just ahead. Does Forrest have the gumption to short the market and hope for stocks to tumble? Or should he go with the flow? Let's short the market and gain some fame just because I think gaining fame will actually help us at our job. And it says we'll lose money. Hopefully we don't get fired. We shouldn't get fired. It doesn't say we'll get fired. I hate it when it does that. Forrest executes his trade and turns the TV on to follow the day's financial news. Worry quickly sets in as stocks continue to push higher. When the final bell marks the end of the day's trading, Forrest knows the money he invested is gone. Meanwhile, the news anchors are breaking out the bubbly as they excitedly bloviate about the day's new record highs. As discussion turns to today's big losers on the market, a photo of Forrest appears on the screen. Oh well, such is the life of a high-risk investor. I wonder how much we lost. I think we had like 3,000 and now we have like 2,192, but I didn't pay attention so it wasn't that much it's worth it oh we gained a ton of fame we're almost up to a notable newcomer okay we're going to clean the allergic mold pile and take care of the toddlers a little bit but then we need to go to the sulani festival oh we need to do laundry oh come on you two stop making messes Claire has cleaned enough. She's going to take a break and go to the Meet a Celebrity event. Oh, look. Trinity Sparks is a global superstar. Let's see if we can meet her. Oh, she actually said hi back. That's the very first time. If we can make friends, then maybe we can get into the award ceremony next time. Oh, she's actually giving us an autograph. That's cool. Okay, are we friends yet? No, not really. But we have good compatibility. That's good. Oh, we're friends now. That means we can use Trinity to get into the award ceremony because she's a global superstar and we can go in with her. 
Okay, we need to have a little bit of fun. Unfortunately, we are not having any fun talking to the celebrity. Oh, and Forrest got promoted. That's awesome. Oh, he's so, so tired, though. That's not good. We'll let everyone rest at home, especially Forrest. And then we'll just finish up here and go to the Solani Town Potluck at 6 p.m. Let's see if we can swipe his drink. Nobody's drinking it. I'm going to drink it. Oh, that must have been spicy. Maybe we can introduce ourselves to Orange Bailey Moon. Two celebrities in one day? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I think he ignored me. Yep, he did. Okay. All right, Claire, finish your drink. It's almost time for the party to start. We do have to stop back at home, though, in order to get the cake. All right, we'll do a little bit of stock research until 6 p.m. I don't know how much we will finish. Probably not very much at all. Okay, I don't think... Nope, I cannot drag the cake onto these tables over here. And I haven't been notified that it's their birthday, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and age them up over here because this is the only table that I can actually place the cake on. And then we'll go over to the potluck and have fun. All right, the picnic table's not working out. All right, we got this little table, oh, this poolside table. And hopefully we can get everyone around it while Amal blows out the candles. Happy birthday, Amal! Okay, so he's going to be a child. So we have to pick one of Claire's traits. All right, here's the problem. The Sim that is Amal's mother was ambitious, self-absorbed, and hates children. And none of those traits are assignable to a child. So what I'm going to do is say ambitious is sort of like adventurous as a child. Self-absorbed is like self-assured and hates children is like mean. So we'll pick one of those three randomly and then whichever one we land on, that's their trait as a child. But when the other trait, the real trait that the parent had becomes available, we will cheat to change their trait to the trait they're supposed to have. And I'll have to do this for Amelia as well. So we're going to use a random trait from the mother for the child trait. And Amal is going to be self-absorbed and then self-assured. That's actually the better of the three. <laughs> so we're going to pick self-assured as a child. And he's also going to have the mind and body aspiration. So there is Amal. And maybe we'll give him a makeover. I think he looks kind of cute, actually. Jade, I can't hang out tonight. Why are you calling me? Forrest is going to ignore that call. This is my kid's birthday. I cannot hang out. Okay, now it's Amelia's turn. Okay, everyone pay attention. Stop doing whatever it is you're doing and pay attention. Happy birthday, Amelia. And the cake has been eaten. Okay, that's fine. All right, and Amelia is going to have the motor aspiration, and then we're going to roll for her trait. I think Amal got the best trait. Let's see what Amelia is going to get, because I was... I, oh, is she going to get self-absorbed as well? Well, that's, I'll take it, just because I know that she's going to be the heir, and that's the least bad trait out of the three. Okay, so for right now, she gets self-assured, and that will turn into self-absorbed when she's old enough. Happy birthday, Amelia. Okay, now everyone can come over to the potluck and grab some free food, even though we wasted our cake because we took a piece. But that's okay. I don't think it would have lasted until the next birthday. All right, we don't need any social forest. Please just eat your food and drink your coffee. And you can listen to your earbuds. I did change the twins' outfits a little bit, and I have no idea where Amelia got the skin tone because Forrest and 
her mother both do not have that particular warm tone. So Amal got Forrest's skin tone, or maybe close to his mother's, maybe in between the two. But then Amelia just got something way out in left field. It's fine. She just has a really red complexion. And so anything that's red looks terrible on her. But since we now have three children, we do need to redo the house. We do have 5,700 simoleons, which is the most we've had in a long time. All right. Well, while your birthdays are important, children, uh, Forrest kind of needs to go home because he is a little bit tired and he's still and he's dirty and he needs to have fun and he also needs to finish his stock reports all right at least his energy is okay now because i drank the coffee i redid the house okay i know i spent all of our money but i think it looks nice we at least have a bedroom for everyone now and forest and Claire's bedrooms are in the back. So Forrest is a tiny bit bigger. I put his office in here now. And then this is Claire Ann's room. And oh, I should lock the doors so that the kids have to go to their own room to do their homework. And then this one will be Amelia's bed. And this one will be Amal's bed. Now we have some more seating out here. And we have enough seats for the kids to sit on the stools. And then the, the two adults can sit on the couch while they're eating. So that's not ideal, but it's good for now. I don't have any more money. And it's also Harvest Fest today. So other events we have are the Susani Island Celebration. And we don't have any more university events to go to because Forrest has graduated. So that's what we're going to do today. We did get a notification for Thrifty, but they don't have an event today. For some reason, they just randomly notify you saying, oh, we have new items, but they don't really have events on that day or at that time. Everyone eat your fruit and vegetables. Well, we're here at the island celebration and it's nice that Clara has to go around and find collectibles because we basically get free food. Okay, everyone is completely full. No one should be buying any drinks or food. We only have 958 simoleons, which, you know, is still a lot. However, I really want to start on Forest's wealth building. So I kind of want to get 25,000 earned and then get 20,000 in reserve. Okay, you can just put these shells in your inventory. Interesting. It lets me take them. Well, the island celebration, I guess, is nice. We don't live in Sulani, but it's fun to go to the beach sometimes. Oh, there's a celebrity. Maybe we can introduce ourselves. Why does that never work? Well, Forrest is actually close to being a two-star celebrity. Maybe we'll just get him up to three stars and forget about trying to have someone get us in. All right, Jade, I'm sorry, but you're interrupting my Harvest Fest in order to ask me out on a date. No, thanks. Not this time. Family is more important. All right, we're just here in San Sequoia because I want to try to get the kids playful because two of them have that aspiration that they need to play on a jungle gym while playful. And I think they're just going to be too confident, though. That just makes them happy. All right, how can I get these kids playful? I don't have a tub at home, so I can't do a bubble bath. What about viewing the, the big whale, whatever his name is? <laughs> well, I guess I might just have to... Oh, yes, that's right. I have those MySim trophies. I could put the MySim trophy in the area if it's on a lot. Okay, yeah, the splash pad just makes them happy. Well, the Oasis Springs Park has a jungle gym that's on a lot. So I brought some of my MySim trophies and I'm going to have them tell each other jokes so they can hopefully overcome their confidence and become playful. Meanwhile, Amal is just playing chess with Forrest because he actually wants to get his mental level skill to level three, which he just did. And then he wants to learn how to ride a bike. I don't know if we'll do that, Amal, at least not for now. 
Okay, they're all playful now. Hopefully these guys will let us play with them. I don't know how many kids can use the jungle gem at a time. Okay, don't glitch. And that took care of that. Well, to be honest, we do have enough money to get Amal a bike. But if we get Amal a bike, then we have to get the other kids a toy too. Because we don't have any toys at home except for one action figure. So, Friday, we have at 3 p.m. the Fr Thrifty Fashion Show, 6 p.m. Sulani Beach Bonfire, also the Talent Showcase is at the same time, and then the Spice Festival is 5 p.m. to 1 a.m., but since it ends later, I'll probably go there second, because it corresponds with Night on the Town, which is free food. However, everyone has to go to work and school today, so we won't start any festivities until 3 p.m. Or actually, 5 p.m. We need to wait for Forrest to get home. What time do you get home, Forrest? Oh, you get home at 4. That's great. I like it when they have a slightly earlier shift, because a lot of the events start at 3. Alright, everybody, time to go to work and school. And then while they're at work and school, we'll just hang out with Claire and collect some things. Oh, we completed the fossil collection already? Well, and we completed the metals collection. Although I have not been saving the metals. I've just been selling them because we've been so broke. Now the only My Sim trophy I think I need is the zombie Carl. Yeah, it's one rare My Sim trophy. And I know for a fact that the Magic Realm sells this as a potion ingredient. So let's go visit the Magic Realm. Just because you're not a spellcaster doesn't mean you can't go and buy from them. And I don't care about haggling because sometimes the potion vendor is bugged and I don't want her to leave her post. So I'm just going to buy a full price if she has it. No, not this time. Okay, we'll have to come back every once in a while when we have the money and see if she has it. Because I think I've been really unlucky and I'm just not getting zombie Carl for some reason. The kids are home from school, and Claire is now an A student. Still, do your homework, Claire. Uh-oh, Forrest is starting to burn out. Claire keeps inviting over Claire Ann, uh, Claire mother. Claire Landry is an adult, and she used to live with Claire Ann as a baby. And for some reason, she keeps calling Clarian, asking her to come over, and I don't know why. No, we have to finish our homework, and we have to eat, and then we have to do a lot of things with our family today, because Friday is a busy day. And Forrest is home. Oh, Forrest is a rising star now. How did he get fame from his job? I guess just being an investor gives you fame? I didn't know that. All right, well, we're almost ready to get promoted. I hate to use my negotiate right now, but I kind of want to use that as soon as it's available. And we have 8,600 simoleons. Well, that's awesome. Maybe I should hold out for 20,000. I don't know. We really need to do some upgrades to this place. At the end of the week, we probably will not have 20,000 simoleons. And I honestly need to spend every bit of money expanding this living area because it's good that we're going out every day because to be honest I would not want to be here and try to socialize with family because you can't it's basically a dysfunctional living room and the only thing that we have right now are private bedrooms and the reason why I invested in the private bedrooms first is because the kids need to sleep and do their homework and not a single one is in the correct room. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, the Spice Festival has already started. I think we might skip the thrifty fashion show. There's just so much going on today. We don't have time to do all of our work. And Well, we don't have work tomorrow. And the kids don't have school tomorrow. So maybe we can just take care of our needs. Well, I decided to come to the fashion show just really quick. So we'll stay from 6.30 to 7.30. Yeah, I know the Spice Festival's going on. I'll go later, Trinity. I'll invite you. 
Because Forrest is materialistic. I mean, he should get something for himself. And he also met Dustin Broke. So Dustin is a B-lister, which means we can get into the Starlight accolades now. All right, we got a new winter outfit for Forrest. I kind of like it. Well, here's the Saloni Beach Bonfire, and everyone is playing with the fire, basically. Uh, <laughs> Forrest is trying to fire dance, and I think he caught on fire. Are you not very good at dancing, Forrest? What's wrong with you? I was hoping that dancing would help his mental fog, but it doesn't look like I can do it. Maybe we can build a sandcastle. All right, it's 9.30. It's almost time for the kids to go home anyway. It was nice coming out with them for a little bit, but it's getting so dark. They really should put more lights out here. And it doesn't seem like doing leisurely activities, such as building a sandcastle, is helping his mental fog. Okay, we came home to drop the kids off and put them in bed. Then we'll go to the solar flare for the talent showcase, but we have to grab a coffee because nowhere ever has any coffee. I wish there were some kind of award or recognition for being at the talent showcase, but I've been here the entire time when it was open and I never saw anything. But it is nice that people will sit down and listen to you. And the talent showcase is finished. Oh, and everyone gave me a thumbs up. Well, that's something. And we satisfied our night on the town. But now we need to quickly go to the Spice Festival before it closes. We got here right at midnight. But I'm going to check and see if we have the t-shirt. Yes, we already have the t-shirt. But maybe we need the swag. I don't think we have that. Come on, Forrest. Why aren't you moving? We have no time to waste. All right. And we have just enough time, maybe, if Forrest doesn't get hung up on things to try the spicy challenge and of course he's got to walk all the way back across the lot in order to find a table to sit at just eat it right where you are why do you have to sit down yeah i don't think we're going to pass the spicy challenge but it's fun to try it's 1 a.m and the festival is going to end soon and then we have to go home and go to sleep no we failed all right tonight is a talent showcase at 6 p.m. at the Stargazer Lounge. How many talent showcases are there? There's also the Festival of Snow and a Sulani Fishing Competition and the Finchwick Garden Fair. Well, this is going to be another busy day. Okay, we just completed the crystals collection. Well, the only thing is I'm selling them, so I'm going to have to get them again. I have a plum bite. And Amelia likes fitness. Well, that will be helpful. And it looks like Claire has decided to stop by. Are you interested in seeing your children, Claire? I thought you weren't. In fact, you only talked to the baby Claire. You've never called your children. I was going to play it off that Claire wasn't interested in her kids. But she keeps coming around for some reason. I have no idea why. Seriously, Forrest, you broke the coffee maker? It's time to go to the fishing competition. All right, we need to get some coffee before we go. And I, oh, good, our burnout is gone. I managed to take a nap and that's what got rid of it. Okay, we're in Solani until 3.30 and the kids are going fishing. It looks like only two of them got to go fishing though. Claire doesn't like to go fishing, so we're not going to make her, but I'm trying to get the kids to go fishing and people keep getting in my way. No, Morgan. It's my turn. Okay, so now Amelia has her spot. We have the three kids fishing. I think Forrest is just going to stay on the beach. Because, to be honest, fishing doesn't seem like really his thing. Okay, I don't know if we're really... Oh, I forgot the Festival of Snow, too. Okay, well, we're going to the Festival of Snow late in the evening. Because that one's over very late. Okay, supposedly there's a fishing competition, but I don't really know how to participate. Do you have to sign up? I mean, I think you could only ask about the competition over here. It didn't say sign up. Oh, you submit your fish. Okay. So you have to fish a fish and then submit it. 
I don't know when it's over though, so I don't know how long we would have to submit the fish. And the Finchwick Fair has started anyway. I think we're going to go there for that entire thing. And then after the Finchwick Fair is over, we'll go to the Talent Showcase and then the Festival of Snow last. So today's a busy day. Okay, the biggest fish wins, but she didn't say when it was over. And we have to go now. I really don't want to get her any of my fishes anyway. Um, well, maybe I'll give her the minnow because the minnow is tiny. Okay, yeah, if you submit the fish, you basically lose it. When is it over? Oh, you can buy bait. And they have a lot of different fish that are rare. Well, this is good to know. Go to the fishing tournament in Sulani and buy bait if you want to get a lot of rare fish. Oh, fun, it's raining. Okay, well, we have a plant sim plant or forbidden fruit in order to win the Finchwick Garden Fair. Cool. Just by talking to the village mayor, Claire got a Finchwick favor and she got a charming mushroom and a spicy mushroom and blueberries and milk. So if you want some of the harvestables that are found in cottage living you can just hang out in the area and it seems like someone will randomly assign themselves as your finchwick fair or fairing friend or something like that and you'll get some free stuff now i really need to go because unfortunately we need to go to one of the other festivals we have the talent showcase at 6 p.m we really need to be there no later than 10 in order to participate. And then we have to go to the Festival of Snow and that ends at midnight. So we won't be able to stick around at the fair to make sure we don't glitch out, but that's okay. Oh, we actually got the Finchwick Fair competition when I was dropping the kids off at home. So did we get our Finchwick Fair item back? No, we just got a ribbon. Well, a ribbon is fine. I think we got some simoleons. I did not see how much, but oh, we didn't even get first place. Oh no, it is first place. Okay, it's a red ribbon. For some reason, I thought first place would be blue. Well, anyway, uh, Forrest has his first place ribbon in the Finchwick Garden Competition. And those things are actually hard to get. So I'm going to keep that in his room. And then we have the three plaques for the different collections for the ones that are related to gemology, except for maybe the fossil one in Claire's room. Now for the other collectibles, I am just, I, I'm just gonna sell them all because basically it's easy to complete the collections and it's not a challenge unless the Sim that needs to complete the collection actually completes the collection. I don't think that I should keep all of the collectibles with this generation for the rest of the series because the reason why I'm getting so many is because that's the only way that Claire can earn money. It's really no challenge to complete those collections. So Forrest is going to join the talent showcase and then Claire is just going to get a drink. And Claire's favorite drink is buffalo wing tea. Oh, Forrest Daly can now show off some talent. It's his turn to perform. I never did get that before, and I've been playing for the last 55 minutes, so I don't know why it said that. It gave me five minutes anyway. Oh well. Well, it's the end of the week, and we're just going to the Festival of Snow in order to purchase some semi-capsules, and then we're going to call it a night. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.